a welcome, an introduction and a personal story to begin with. The welcome, as always, is to those of you who are watching our service on YouTube, anywhere in the Cars of Gowrie and from all points of the compass far beyond. But a special new welcome today to those who are listening to parts of this service on our new telephone uh, worship facility. I'll put the telephone number of that on the screen so that those of you who are watching the service will be able to give that number to anybody you can think of who you know is not often online and might appreciate being able to join us even just by hearing what we're doing. We think that there may be some people who have not been able to be in church for some time because of their health or situation who might benefit from this and so some good will have come out of this lockdown uh, far beyond just the direct effects, which is great. The introduction is of the reader of today's Old Testament and Gospel lessons. Dr Ian Meller is one of the consultants in the intensive care unit in Ninewells Hospital. And because he does a job that we so greatly admire, especially just now, and so little envy, especially just now, I find it moving listening to him reading those passages. And Ian has served in the past in the medical services of the Naval and Army Reserves, and he's worked in places of conflict. And so in this anniversary week, remembering war, it seemed to me right to ask him to take part in our service for today. And mention of that anniversary brings me to the little personal story, which I know many of you have heard me tell in our churches, especially around about Remembrance Time. But let me tell it briefly again, because it will make sense of something that I'll mention in passing during the sermon. My father, Maurice MacLean, fought in the Battle of France with the 51st Division as a Gordon Highlander, suffered as a prisoner of war in Silesia around the cities of Katowice and Gleiwitz in Poland, survived the long march away from that Eastern Front, away south for many weeks of marching until he was liberated by the Americans near Innsbruck, lived to be 96, and died four years ago. When my brother was emptying out father's desk, I asked him to look out for father's medals, which I knew he had, but I was pretty sure I'd never seen him wear. And after a day or two of apparently fruitless search, John sent me a WhatsApp message saying, is this what you're looking for? Those of you who are watching the service will see what he meant and let me describe it for those who are listening. It's Father's 1939-45 star, his World War II medal, loose, with bits of the ribbons of each attached to nothing, and the original box, and even the accompanying note from the War Ministry, and all just in a jumble at the back of a drawer, never worn never really wanted, I suspect. I had them properly broached up, and as his nearest relation to have served in conflict myself, I wear them on my right breast on Remembrance Day each year. In a strange time, and remembering another strange time, and yet remembering that all time is in the hands of the one who creates time. Let us worship God. <laughs> 